Good day, my name is Kaden Mazokere and welcome to lesson number three from my textbook, The Distinction Bound Student. Uh, I also have economies grade 11 and grade 10. All right, um, in this uh, lesson, we are going to start by revising the homework that I gave you in the previous lesson. All right, the first question was, the movement of goods and services in the economy is known as, okay, obviously this one will be a real flow because um, these are tangible. You see, it's different from money flow. The next one, if income is equal to 42 billion, how much is expenditure? All right, remember that concept, income is always equal to expenditure and equal to production. So the answer there will be 42 billion. Even if they were to ask, okay, here is if income expenditure, okay, production, the answer would still be 42, 42 billion because they are always equal. All right, then you can uh, mark the other, those uh, five, uh, taxes, imports, exports, savings, and subsidy. All right, let's get to today's lesson. In this lesson, we're going to talk about leakages and injections. All right, first and foremost, what is an injection and what is a leakage? All right, it's as easy as an injection is a financial boost to an economy. So whenever uh, uh, money has been added into what's al already circulating, we call that an injection. All right, so if uh, let's say 10 trillion rands is circulating and then uh, money comes from somewhere else and now money that is circulating is now 11 trillion, let's say, that will be an injection. And if 10 trillion is circulating and then something uh, causes that money in circulation to be 9 trillion, then that something is a leakage. All right, so the difference is uh, an injection is going to uh, add money that is in circulation. By in circulation, remember the topic circular flow. All right, so I think this is uh, as clear as that. So now we are going to look at um, uh, our injections, like what is it that we, we, we have on that all right so in our economy we have investment okay so we normally say investment spending by businesses and we use the symbol i so investment spending by businesses when businesses build new factories when they build anything that they use to make money when they invest we call that an injection all right now the question is, where is this money coming from? Well, this money might be coming from what used to be a leakage back then. Like it can come from savings. Uh, let's say you um, your, your disposable income is 10,000 and then you spend 8,000 every month. So uh, during the process, there's always a leakage of 2,000 throughout the year, two years, three years, five years. Now, after five years, let's say now you have 100,000 and now you want to start a business. Now, that 100,000 that has been leaking from the economy over the years is now going to be injected back into the economy. So it's going to boost the economy. Right. The next one is government spending. And again, this one also is just like investment spending by businesses, but this one is done by government and uh, it can also work the same as, remember I was saying the savings are a leakage. In this case, taxes are a leakage. So when government taxes, it reduces money that is in circulation. Uh, when government taxes, disposable income goes down. So when that happens, um, you will see that uh, there is less money circulating. However, Government also injects money into the economy. So government, yes, they take money from the economy, but they can also inject money into the economy. All right. The next one is exports. When we manufacture goods here in South Africa and we sell to other countries, that is an injection. All right. So we have uh, a formula that we use. J, that is for injection. J is equal to I plus G plus X. 
all right so it's as easy as that let's go to leakages now leakages as we said uh, already i've mentioned them it's mostly the opposite of what we had just now so we had export we had uh, exports when we manufacture goods in this country and we sell to other countries uh, that is uh, an injection but the flip side is when we buy goods from other countries money goes out of the country so that money that is going out it's a leakage all right the next one is savings i mentioned it when i was talking about investment uh, when we get our disposable income uh, before we even get it remember there's another leakage that is coming next okay let me just put it there taxes yes when government taxes uh, our, uh, we, we, we see a reduction in money that is in circulation. So our disposable income is less than what companies were paying us because part of it goes to the government. And then now when we get money in our bank accounts, we save part of that. And that is a leakage because that money could have been circulating in the economy. All right. So therefore we end up saying L so l is for uh, leakages so we say l is equal to m which is imports s savings t tax all right so this lesson won't be long but there's something i'm going to say just before i end the lesson all right so the economy is said to be in equilibrium if j is equal to l then the uh it's 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 obviously um uh easy to 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 grasp so it means in this case nothing happens the economy does not grow uh, neither does it shrink because of this movement all right and then um this is the essence of macroeconomic equilibrium the level of aggregate production remains unchanged just like i said all right so you can write these notes and then i'm going to uh, end this lesson by asking you a few questions all right uh, i'm going to try and draw i don't know if i'm going to be able to but let's say we have a drum and uh, let's say this drum is half um, half full okay and it has water and then there is a tap and then water is coming in to the drum but now there is a leakage so water is also coming out of the drum. If we open this tap and water is coming in, does the level of, can, can this drum get full? Okay, I'm just pausing so that you can also pause or you can just respond. Do you think this drum can get full if there is a leakage, but we are adding more water into the drum? All right, so if your answer is yes, it gets full, uh, your answer is wrong if your answer is no it doesn't get full your answer is also wrong so what is the correct answer i think you know by now the answer is it depends because you don't know the rate at which the water is coming in and you don't know the rate at which the water is coming out so until we know what's bigger than what then we can answer the question so we have three scenarios here. I'll try to write them down here. We have these three scenarios. All right. When these two are equal, then it stays the same. It stays there. When injection, more water that is coming in is equal to more water that is going out, nothing happens to the level of the water. So this here is our economy, if I may say. And so this here is our injection and this here is our leakage now what if our injection is bigger than our leakage then obviously the level of the water is going to go up all right so here the economy stays the same and here the economy is going to increase or it's going to the the, the correct word is grow okay because we say economic growth and this is different from uh, economic development we'll cover this in when we go to economic pursuits in term three but uh, you also have some knowledge from grade 11 
because we did this topic for a long time in grade 11. So you know what I'm talking about when I say economic growth, economic development. All right, the next one here is this scenario when uh, our injection is less than our leakage. So if what's coming in is less than what's going out, you see, if more water is going out, then the level of water goes down. So it goes to say, it depends on, uh, the, it depends on this, what's bigger than what? Are leakages equal to injections? Are injections greater than leakages? And so on. So in this scenario, we have a, a shrink or the economy is going to drop. All right. So this brings us to the end of the lesson. And um, as usual, I'm going to give you some homework. So it says, explain what is meant by a leakage in the economy. Give two examples of leakages from the economy. Explain what is meant by injections into the economy. Give two examples of injections into the economy. What happens to the economy if leakages are greater than injections? I think you are going to get everything correct because this is as easy as ABC. All right. Thank you so much. Um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and watch more of such videos. Um, I'll be posting grade 11 videos and also grade 10 videos um, in, in, in future. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good day.